Sure. Oh. Feels like I've woken up from a terrible dream. And it looks like he's left me behind again. When does he even sleep? Fried in sauce, and folded in sweetened bread. I don't trust much in this post-war world. But if there's one exception, it's my yakisoba pawn. So the Sentinel's a weapon from the future? It's strange to say, but it does make sense. After all, even one of its computers was so far beyond what we knew. The more I find out, the more dangerous he seems. Forcing his way into someone's head and messing around? He's unhinged! If I've judged the walking distance right, I should arrive there around noon. I need to save up. Even a small reserve would be enough. See, Okino is right. I just need to slip in the old staff entrance. Seems like nobody will spot me. Now, where is Okino? gave it a little food. Now it shows up here all the time, so... I ended up bringing food for it, every day. I suppose I can relate. You used food to toy with both of us. What? You don't like me taking care of you? I didn't ask you to do that. I'd better get going. Going where? Oh, right. Are you sticking around until Shintaro's done eating? Mind tossing the empty can for me? Shintaro? That's his name, yeah. I'm counting on you. under the can. Looks like a hundred fifty yen. Oh. Okino, are you still trying to look after me?
he's one of the teachers at the school. I should go somewhere else. Soba upon Angel. Uh, she doesn't recognize me. And then again, I was a mess when she saw me last. Wait. If she's a student here, then... That means it must be sold here at the school. This is where I can find that Yaki Soba upon. Finest yakisoba pond, please. Oh, no doubt about it. This is the same yakisoba pond from back then. It's too much. So hungry. I've got no strength left. I can't go on like this. I'll starve to death. <sighs> desperate times call for desperate measures. Maybe on the main street, I could find some scraps in the garbage. <sighs> what am I thinking? I am an Imperial soldier. The pride of the Empire. I can't dig through trash like some animal. I'd be better off dead. Still, I'll never find a paying job in this state. I shouldn't have let the heat get to me. Taking that bath in the river was my biggest mistake. That cold left me out of commission for a while. And now it's been three days since my food ran out. I couldn't even find Kiriko-san in the end. Is this how I die? Alone? Wasting away? Excuse me. Um... Are you okay? Uh, oh... Uh, never better. Was that your stomach? Uh... <laughs> I know. <laughs> What's this? I bought too much of this at lunch. It's yakisoba pan. Yakisoba pan? I, I can have this? If you'd like. I... I suppose I'll take you up on that. Yaki Soba Pan. It's so good. Impossibly good. It's delicious. How could anything so delicious exist in this world? <laughs> I wanted to savor the taste, but I practically inhaled that whole piece. Now that I think about it, I never even got to thank her. My yaki soba pun angel. This should be good. I can eat in peace here. Still. I can't believe I got the last one. 
I suppose it's good karma for my model behavior. I was wondering where you'd run off to. Did you go buy that yourself? Okino. You changed clothes? Wow, I can feel the disappointment from here. Want me to get back into the skirt? I don't care. It's just that the skirt's kind of breezy. I don't have much on underneath it. Makes me feel pretty exposed, you know? I can't just walk around in the wind and traffic like that. Just think of what could happen. Stop that. You're clearly enjoying this, no matter what you say. And you don't have to be so... lewd about it. If we're seen outside, the staff might chase us off the property. Once the afternoon classes are over, we'll head back. You stick around here until then. Now, time to finally enjoy my... Uh... uh. Do you want half of this yakisoba pond? What? Oh, no, I'm fine. I'm not even hungry. Isn't that your favorite food, anyway? You enjoy it. Well, if you're sure. You really are a nice guy, Hijiyama-kun. Okay, time to dig in. Mm. This is it. This is the taste that saved me. I have to thank the Yakisoba Pond Angel. If I ever see her again, I need to thank her personally. Hmm? No, wait. I did meet her. But when? Good grief. You're still going to keep trying then? Of course. Is it possible he really doesn't know anything? There's still residual data in there from the switch. If I can figure out who's sending out the signal, then maybe I can stop it. Or even control it. Where are you going now? The convenience store near the station. You haven't eaten since noon, right? I'll go get us some snacks. Help change things up. Any requests? Yakisoba pan. So much for changing things up. Haven't you tried anything else from this time? Don't make fun of me. I, I like plenty of foods. I just haven't eaten any of them yet, that's all. Wow. Can't argue with that logic. Huh? Who's there? A female student? What is she doing out so late? More importantly, what's she doing here? Wait, have we met somewhere? <laughs> She's the girl who saved me! She's the Yakisoba Pond Angel! Excuse me. Oh, uh, please wait! I'm afraid the second floor isn't quite... Uh... I'm sorry. <clears throat> Yaki Soba Pond Angel! Why?
bad news, Juro. Let me guess. Amiguchi-kun's not there. I think he's at the break area. Thanks for making my life That's easier, man. Cool. Let's grab our stuff and head over. Oh yeah, almost forgot. I never finished reading this. The papers. Miss Morimura forgot them again. Do you need something? Uh, not really. Sorry. Sorry, Shiba-kun. I have to drop off these papers. Oh. Again? Jeez. We'll just meet me at the front gate when you're done. In the meantime, I'll go hunt down Amiguchi. for you hey watch what you're saying we're still at school for tonight I'm thinking Hamburg steak your favorite <laughs> knock it off if people find out we're living together we'll be expelled from school hmm is that so I don't mind well I do mind so please Sorry, sorry. It's our secret, I know. I'll be a little more discreet. all night we're just teenagers we can't be living together already <sighs> what is she thinking just showing up at my place and treating me like this that's strange the front door was unlocked I hope there wasn't a break-in You're... you're from my school, right? I think we're in the same... <gasps> it's been 40 years. I've missed your touch. What? Hold on, back up. What are you doing in my house? I'll be renting a room starting today. My name is Megumi Yakushiji. Hello there. You're joking, right? I spoke with your landlord, Tamao Karabe. She gave me this rental agreement. My grandma? I've already moved in my furniture. Jeez. I mean, yeah, there was an empty room. And she said she was planning to rent it out, but... I didn't expect it to be a girl from school. <sighs> what were you thinking, grandma? There's no way. I can't do this. Grandma's going to be out this whole month. She's visiting relatives back in Shimane. That means it's just the two of us here. If the school finds out, we're going to be expelled. Well, that wouldn't be so bad. What? Anyway, 
I need to get started on dinner. As thanks for letting me stay with you, I'll be taking care of your meals. I hope you like it. Hey, wait! Karabikun? Huh? Miss Morimura. What's the matter? You seem deeply concerned. You forgot these again. Oh my! Sorry for the trouble. I do appreciate it. Thank you, Kurabe-kun. Well, that saves me a trip. Now, I wonder if Shiba-kun was able to find Amiguchi-kun. What do you plan to do? Yakushiji. I've gotten permission from Morimura. I see. Even if that's the case, it isn't looking good. There's an issue with Juro's condition. We can't let it continue as is. You still plan on using him, don't you? You can't. I won't let you. <sighs> Please. Let him be free of the Sentinel. As of now, he's the only one who can fight. I can't promise anything. I recognize the position you're in. You harbor feelings for him, correct? But you must understand that he is no longer the Izumi you knew. Izumi? He is Juro Karabe. You would do well to consider him an entirely different person. The new personality is not stable. Don't disregard the danger this may put you in. Juro will recover. I'll make sure of it. Even if we erase the personality of Juro Kurabe... What? It would be a futile effort, as I've already explained. Izumi's memory is gone. There is nothing left. You're a difficult one. This... Karabe. Juro. How long have you been listening? What was that about? Who is Izumi? Uh, I'll cook one of your favorite meals tonight. So please, come right home, okay? No eating out. <sighs> Izumi? Haven't I heard that name before? I think Shinonome-senpai called me that. Oh. And I saw it at the nurse's office, too. There was a document labeled Juro Izumi. Hmm. I'm a different person? Juro... Izumi? <laughs> That's ridiculous. And yet... Why do I have this sinking feeling? It's like... The one Yakushiji has feelings for isn't me. It's... Izumi. Yes. 
Easy. Take your time. Do you know where you are? Shu Amiguchi. I get a strange feeling when I think about him. It's almost like I'm in love with him. Number 14. Number 14 is my sentinel. Run away? Why do I need to run? Hey, Sekigahara. Akun is a year younger than me, and a childhood friend. How could I think he was the culprit? Fuyusaka and Kisaragi, Class 1B. Yakushiji and 1C. All of the compatible girls are first years. The coordinates for shifting through time. They're set in 40-year intervals. So he can't travel freely. If Eiseki Gahara isn't 426, then who's the one that messed with the Sentinels? Should make me feel a little better. Are you all right? Answer the question. 1985. I know what you're going to say. I'm fine, all right? I see. I just forgot to take my pills, that's all. Take those when your headaches start to get bad. The medicine is a bit strong. You may experience some temporary side effects. But don't worry, your memories will return quickly. Kisaragi-san, can I talk to you? Goto-senpai! Is there something I can help you with? Yeah. Do you like sweet senpai? Oh, no. Did you just well, tell well, me to what run? What sort of women do you like? Well, I... Goto's distracted. What do you do in your day? Oh, did you? I'd rather not say. should have some. It's open. Good. Morimar is not here. Now, where are those pills? were around here last time. Where are they? There's a student asleep in here. This girl, she looks familiar.
Yori Fuyusaka. She's one of the compatible. There's something under the pillow. An ampoule. This must be the medicine she was given. The label says NM0206. So she injected you with nanomachines. What is Morimura thinking? Why give Yori Fuyusaka nanomachines? Medication record. Maybe there's something useful in here. Yori Fuyusaka. Nano machines anchored. Memory transplant attempt number seven. Memory transplant? It can't be. Ryoko Shinonome. <sighs> Memory separation. Progressing. Third phase. As with Jiro Izumi. Administering personality synthesis? Oh? Where's Gojo-kun? <sighs> you didn't have permission to read those. What does this all mean? It's a necessary measure. Well, did you find the culprit? <sighs> what are you planning? You're in even worse condition than I thought. Uh, you need to take your pills. Answer me. What are you doing to Yori Fukusaka? My head. What are you doing? Maybe it's time. Shinonami san, how are you feeling? How much can you remember? As I suspected, you're starting to disappear. Welcome back, Usami-chan. Thanks. Did Senpai wake up? Darn. I'm back. I've been thinking... When all this happened, we were at school, right? Maybe we should try going there. You think that'll help? Well, you know... That's where we time-slipped from. Oh. Maybe we can find a clue on how to get back. Anything. Here. Found him at a convenience store over there. Got enough for both of you. I'm not a big candy guy, so have at it. Thank you! There's no time to be tired. It's good. What I need is a sugar rush. That makes me feel a little better. <laughs> You know, you might be onto something, Miwako. The school. Morimura was always there. So I'm thinking, maybe there's a time machine there. Morimura? You mean our teacher? Oh, yeah. That nurse with the big knockers. 
She's from the future, too. <gasps> In fact, she came even farther than me. You gotta be kidding me. Let's go back to the school. What about that second year? We're just gonna leave her here? <sighs> oh, yeah. I'll stay here with Senpai. You two go on ahead. Appreciate it. We'll come back. Gonna trip if you keep running like that. Rough roads over here. Well, aren't you cool? It took a while to get here with that blocked off road. Some of us have our eye on the time. thing? No. This is Sentinel number 13. A robot that fought to protect the city. We got kaiju fighting robots now? The future's wild, man. But I guess in the end, it lost, huh? <sighs> anyway, we're kind of up a creek here. Look. The road's nothing but rubble. Even if we tried to climb down, the other side's no better. Guess we gotta turn back and take the long way around. Let's do it soon. I'm worried about Miwako. The last time I saw this thing, it was right before I got taken away. can wait. Hurry and bring that girl over.
so dead. Pop quizzes suck. Was your grade that bad, Usami-chan? Usami-chan? Hmm? What's up, Iori? Did you tank the math test, too? Those formulas put me right to sleep. So you got an F? N no! It was close, though. Don't worry, Yuri-chan. You're good in other subjects. At my old school, we never 2089. had That's what year it was in my dream. He said he'd gone back in time 16 years to find me. If that was a real premonition, something's gonna happen in the year 2105. That's 120 years from now. Really? That sounds wonderful. Your grade wasn't so hot either, Miwako. Can we stop talking about this? I was going to study last night, but then I turned on the TV. Miwa-chan. Yes? What were you watching? A special on Haley's Comet. It's coming next year. Oh, I wanted to see that too. The next one won't be for another 76 years. A once-in-a-lifetime encounter. It feels so romantic. And that's how you blew off your studies. This school gives way too many tests. I thought it'd be easier here, not harder. What school did you go to? It sounds quite different from ours. Actually, it's, uh... You know, pretty similar. The best cure for the blues is good eats. It's true. You know that bakery? Their hot dogs are so good. If we're talking about meat... I could really go for some Mikuman. Oh yeah? Let's get both. <laughs> Which do you want, Diori? Me? Gotta be hot dogs, right? They make them fresh each day. Warm sausage wrapped in a slightly sweet bun. Mikuman are amazing. Mm. It's a bit chilly today. Perfect time for Nikuman. Eh, Alright. Nikuman are huge! And so warm! Time to taste test! Um. <gasps> so juicy! Mm, the dough's so chewy and light! Feels great to bite into! Good idea for a date. Just buy two of these, stuff them in your shirt, and bam! Instant Morimura! Uh, <laughs> give it some thought. You'd burn yourself. Oh, by the way, speaking of TV shows, I saw a real weird one the other night. It was from the Explorer series. What is that? Usami-chan? Huh? What's up, Iori? It's a popular segment on Weird Wednesdays. Last week it was... Terrible Tales of the Massive Mummy. The Amazon's Underground Secret. I think that was the name. <laughs> yeah, something like that. The mummy was so fake. Who believes that stuff? Wait. Why do you know so much about it? Do you watch that show? More like Nachan wouldn't stop talking about it. Oh. Oh, that one! 
I watched the whole damn thing, but it left me with more questions than answers. Yeah, it's always like that. So you know it? The boys in class were talking about it. I usually watch the music show in that time slot. Today's top hits you remind me of old times. Yes? Well... Lately, I've been getting into idols. Oh yeah, the one who looks like Amiguchi-kun? Yes, and also... There's a female idol I like a lot too. She's so cute and has a wonderful voice. Oh, is she that really popular one? Yes! She's coming out with the record soon. Maybe I'll buy it. Dang, you're really into idols, huh? You might like her too, Sami-chan. Old times? Really? These days, music is trending more towards pop. I think it's pretty different from before. Huh? Oh, right. Are you pretty into music, Asami-chan? Kinda. I'm more about singing than listening. Wow! You can sing? What kind of songs? I'm curious now. Well, uh... It's kinda hard to explain. Is it foreign music? Not exactly. I don't get it. I can't just say it doesn't exist yet. Huh? Ah, nothing. Don't worry about it. Why are you being like this? Sorry, Miwako. The best cure for the blues is good eats. It's true. You know that bakery? Their hot dogs are so good. I'm like, if we're talking about me, I could really... Oh, yeah? Let's get... Which do you... Me? Gotta be hot dogs, right? I'm with Usami-chan. Let's eat hot dog. Yes! That was a cute bakery. Right? Let's eat before it gets cold. Shocking part. Ever since that day, I can't stop thinking about him. Was it all just a dream? <sighs> and that about does it for the sweeping. Good going, Karabi-kun. Something wrong? The door won't open. Goto-senpai gave me a key ring, but... None of these seem to open the storage room. Well, that's a problem. What do we do with all the equipment? 
I guess just leave it. We can't do that. Well, I guess I'll get the key from the teacher's lounge. You can go back to class, Kurabi-kun. I'll take care of the rest. Sorry about that. Hey, no worries. Good job today. She's in the same grade as me, but she talks like she's my older sister. Looks like you've come too. I'm so glad you're okay, Yuri-chan. Miwa-chan. You were lying on the floor. Completely unconscious. How do you feel? Are you alright? Senpai! Huh? D don't push yourself. You should stay in bed. Um, I'm okay. How did I get here? Goto-senpai found you. He carried you all the way here. He did what? The Burning City. Were you there too, senpai? I don't know what you're talking about. You had collapsed in the science room. Huh? The science room? While you were in there, uh... How do I say this? Did you see any... weird flashing screens? Anything like that? No. There was nothing of the sort. A dream. That's all it was. I'm sure. A dream? Miwa-chan. I saw it. The burning city from my dreams. Another nightmare? No. I was actually there. <sighs> Let's calm down, Yuri-chan. It was just another dream. A dream? <clears throat> There's no way. It was real. And I saw... Him. He was there. At the burning city. Yuri-chan. What is this place? It's destroyed as far as the eye can see. Just like the place I saw in my dreams. I see someone. Hey, um... Oh, you're... No sudden moves. Huh? Is that... a gun? Who are you? I'm Iori Fuyusaka. I know that much. Huh? Uh, how do you... 
Who ordered you to come here? Ordered? I just saw a flash in the science room. And the next thing I knew, I was here. Wherever this is. You really don't know? This is Ashitaba City. In the year 2065. The future? No way. If the gate reacted to her, she must be one of the 15. And that's not all. She unlocked the gate. A locked gate can only be opened with Morimura's ID. It's as I suspected. Iori Fuyusaka is the real Chihiro Morimura. Morimura? You mean our teacher? Uh. How was the city destroyed? We're safe at this distance. What is that? The Daimos. From the kaiju movies? Not a bad comparison, but this one's a machine. Those things appear in droves. Hell-bent on destroying the world. Before long, they'll take over our very own town. Wait a minute. How do you uh, know so uh, much? Don't get the wrong idea. I saw it in a dream. A dream? That monster was wrecking the city. And it was coming for me. I ran for my life. There were other dreams, too. People talking about monsters. Maybe they weren't dreams after all. My dreams have been so strange lately. So I've been thinking... Maybe they're premonitions. What are your other dreams like? In one dream, after the city was destroyed... I wound up underground inside a big UFO. In another one, I escaped to the past all by myself. Were those... all real? Morimura told me the same stories. Dreams, huh? Um... Who are you? Wait. Do you hear that? Huh? Drone. Shit. They found me. There's no choice. Come with me. Huh? Um, okay. Sekigahara got away. Did you find Sentinel number eight? Yes. It had been taken over by the Daimos. I suppose it's risky to send units out autonomously. I'll restore manual control to number eight. Go ahead and shut it down for now. By the way, we had a surprise visitor. A Sekigahara. He's in this sector. Unfortunately, he got away. And not only that, can you see her? She's a student from Sector 4. <gasps> Could he have brought her here? She looks familiar. Same class as Kisarangi, I believe. In any case, bring her back.
So many mysteries about what happened in the girls' bathroom. But one thing's for damn sure. Nachan's definitely involved. Gotta look for more clues. Can't go wrong with apple juice. Me and Nachan used to drink it all the time when we were kids. You are. I've been looking for you. <sighs> right before the incident in the girls' bathroom, there was another Kisaragi chasing after Nachan. Kisaragi is also one of the names on that list. So that means Four Eyes wants me to watch her. Are you upset with me? <sighs> Just been antsy without my cigarettes. Guess I'll grab my bag. Oh, I'll go with you. Wajima. Yo! Out of my way, punk. <laughs> you trying to give me orders now? You better get out of my face. I'm not in the mood for your shit right now. Sorry I'm late. <sighs> you really have crap timing, Aiba. Uh... Um... Takamiya-san? Are these people... friends of yours? That's right. And if you're friends with her... That means you have to be friends with me, too. Hey! You lay a finger on her, and I'll break all ten of yours. Oh? Uh... You think you can threaten me? Question. Have it your way. I owe you a lesson from before. Stay back, Aiba. Maybe this time it'll stick. All right, break it up. School called the cops on me. Hey, buddy. Can I go home now? No. Damn it. Four Eyes isn't gonna shut up about this. It's gonna be a real drag if I get suspended from school. Hey. Just wondering where the ladies' room is. <sighs> All right, fine. I'll just stand here with my mouth shut. I'll take over from here. Yes, sir. Onishi the Ogre. Glad to see you haven't changed, Takamiya. So, what happened to Wajima's lackeys? Most of them got away. The two we caught only have minor injuries. I've been worried about you. They took you away and... I didn't even know you were transferred. What happened? Are you involved with the SIU? 
Tell me what you know. Sorry, old man. Can't talk about it. <sighs> Half a year ago, there was an incident involving the transport of heavy machinery. It was reported as an accident, and in the middle of all of it was a young lady, Ryoko Shinonome. I took her into custody. Shinonome? But just like with you, those men from the SIU took her away by force. Her statement was a curious one, though. She claimed both her and her weapon came from the future to fight against Kaiju. So what? You believed that crap? There was another heavy machinery accident just recently. I saw it there. Just before they covered it up in a tarp. And let me tell you, that thing was no ordinary piece of construction equipment. Something is going on in this town. And I have to find out. You'll tell me what you know, won't you? <sighs> You'll tell me what you... <clears throat> Shinonome and her weapon came from the future, huh? I remember, in Nachan's notebook. She wrote about time travel. And a robot that fights. Onishi the Ogre may just be another old fart. But he's an old fart I think I can trust. Maybe I should talk to him. And have him help me, too. Natsuno Minami has been missing since last week. Are the police even looking for her? Natsuno Minami. Huh. The name doesn't sound familiar. She's a first year at Sakura High, and the SIU are looking for her. You'll let me know if you find anything? I'll keep my eyes open. So, how much do you already know? about the SIU. It seems there's an understanding among the higher-ups. But it's still a mystery for us underlings. As far as I know, they're doing extensive research on Shikishima Industries. I figured as much. Now, I don't know how much of this is true. But, according to Four Eyes, Shikishima is making nuclear weapons. And there are miners involved. They told me to watch him, which is why they transferred me. Miners? Ryoko Shinonome is at Sakura High, too. Take a look at this. It's a request to limit traffic while transporting heavy machinery. The thing Shinonome claimed to have arrived in is on its way to Shikishima's new shipbuilding dock as we speak. If I can get there, maybe I can finally figure it out. What the machine is, and what happened to Nachan. After hearing what Onishi the Ogre had to say, I had no choice but to get on this train. Shikishima's shipbuilding dock. No idea what shit I'm gonna find there. But the anticipation is twisting my stomach into knots. What follows is an invest... The shipbuilding dock the robot was moved to. It's on a landfill near the port. A deserted area, with nothing but storage. I'll take this train to the last stop, and then wait near the facility. I'll have to wait until dark to sneak in. Ogata? Hmm? Takamiya. What are you doing here? Obvious, ain't it? I'm going home. But I thought... Don't you live near Nachan's house? Yeah, when we were in elementary school. I live with my grandpa now. 
Where are you going? Oh, well, uh... To see the ocean? You all right? So where's your minion? Decided not to follow you around today? You mean Erica Iba? Iba? You're in class D, right? She's in your class, isn't she? Huh? That's not Iba. Iba's been absent from school for a while now. <sighs> the next stop is Akebi. Akebi. Oh. Gotta switch trains at the next stop. I'm gonna take off. See ya. Not Iba? Then, who the hell is she? Shit. Who can I even believe anymore? I guess just myself now. Trust nothing I don't see with my own eyes. And the first thing I'm gonna see... The weapon at Shikishima. <laughs> Security sure is crap here. Sneaking in was almost too easy. Though, when it's this damn dark... It's hard to see much of anything. Where's that light coming from? Wait a minute. It's my... skin that's lighting up? Well, that explains Who's there? it. Wait, I know that voice. Ryoko Shinonome. What are you doing here? I should be the one asking you that. Uh, hey, you... Your leg is glowing. What's going on? Our bodies are responding. We are pilots. Pilots? <laughs> we are being called by the 14th Sentinel. Son of a... What the hell is that? Is this... the thing that was being moved through the streets? This is a weapon. We will need it for the upcoming battle. And you... are one of the people who can pilot it. Yuki Takamiya. You... I remember you from the list. You're Renya Goto. What do you mean, one of? This is my Sentinel. Sentinel? What follows is an investigative record of important moments in time and space. These advanced life forms have managed to conquer time and... Who could have dreamed that they're an actual gateway? So, this is the Sentinel? This is what Nachan was looking for? A robot that can fight aliens? Really? Aliens? Was she planning on fighting some little green spacemen? Well, then what are you trying to do? Save the world from the kaiju. Oh. So, this is the weapon Shikishima made? No. Shikishima did not make this. We did. Who the hell are you guys? From our perspective, this world is nothing but the past. You mean, time travel? You're not serious, are you? Very. The Sentinels themselves are weapons from the future. Shikishima. It's that company with all those... Nachon. My ch- Oh, which sh- That damn fool. He's- They put- Ninji Ogata, Class 1D, has made the claim that Erika Aiba is not who she says she is. If that's true, then... 
Who's the person that's been following me this whole time? And what does she want with me? Stay back. The hell? Is that real? You want to find out? Get out of my way. Or am I going to have to beat the crap out of both of you? There will be none of that. After all, you too have a part in this. I don't have jack squat to do with this. Your glowing skin suggests otherwise. I don't know what you did to me. But I've had enough. What did you find? New code has been added several times. How many times did he come into contact with her? They must be close. You're... from the nurse's office. I'd like to research you a bit more. Yuki Takamiya. What are you... Yeah. Bad news, Juro. Let me guess. Amiguchi kun's not there. I think he's at the break area. Thanks for making my life easier, man. Cool. Let's grab our stuff and head over. Oh, yeah. Almost forgot. The papers. Miss Morimura really forgot them again. Would you like to get crepes on our way home? I'd love to, but I've kind of got somewhere to be. Mm, no pain. Sorry, Shiba-kun. I have to drop off these papers. Again? Jeez. We'll just meet me at the front gate when you're done. In the meantime, I'll go hunt down Amiguchi. Usami-chan, you've been acting strange lately. Are you okay? You seem kind of... stressed out. But you're just fine, right? Hey, I'm worried about you. Guess Miss Morimura's not here. Since she's not around, I'll just leave the surveys on her desk. I'm sure she'll see them when she gets back. Shinonome, senpai. <sighs> Izumi. Haven't I heard that name before? I think Shinonome-senpai called me that. Oh, and I saw it at the nurse's office, too. There... Izumi-kun? I'm so glad you're safe. I heard terrible things. So, I thought... gone. Last time, she had documents on Juro Izumi here. I guess she put them away. Senpai, my name is Kurabe. 
Jiro Karabe. That's right. So you know him too? Jiro Izumi? Jiro Izumi is you. But right now, you've been given a different personality. Given? By who? The two of us lost our memories after a certain incident. We suffered serious mental trauma. Especially you. I heard that you had it worst of all. But I'm not so well off either. My memories keep disappearing. I'm not sure if I'll even remember this conversation. What was this incident? It happened in the future. But you received medical treatment here. Back in the past. The future? No way. It's true. And you're Jiro Izumi. This is crazy. Honestly, it's really hard for me to believe. I don't blame you. So, let me get this straight. Juro Izumi came from the future. He lost his memories due to some incident. And the damage was so bad, he needed a whole new personality. That's how he became... me. Juro Kurabe. It's so hard to believe. But if it's true, that would explain why I kept feeling like something was off. I tried asking her about that talk she had on the stairs. But she just dodged the question. She had a sad look on her face. <sighs> that dream was awful. I was going... Like, if that was a real memory... Does that mean I actually did all that? Whoa, you're still here? Shiba-kun, what's up? I couldn't find Amiguchi anywhere, so... I thought I'd come looking for you. Are you all right? No, I'm not. And neither are you. Well, guess that's that. Let's call it a day and go home. Well, let's call it... Freaking Amiguchi. You're not getting away from me tomorrow. 